there's an interesting literature showing abnormalities or oddities in the way communication works in the families of schizophrenics. And this is a field now that's called communication deviance. What you see is, on the average, among first order relatives of schizophrenics, parents, siblings, you know, immediate family, what you see is, on the average, an odd communicative style. You see a very fragmented sort of communicating, a very telescoped, sort of terse, broken phrase sort of style. This has been noted very often. Again, this is not what is seen in every close relative of a schizophrenic, but higher than an expected rate. What you also see is all sorts of realms of, in a sense, private communication between schizophrenics and their close families. And the way this is shown is with things like, this was a classic version, you take schizophrenics and you show them like a bunch of, no, that's not what you do. You give them a raw shock print, one of those ink symmetrical things that's just completely chaotic looking, and they look at it for a while, and then you put it into a stack of a dozen other ones, and you mix them up, and you give them to the parents of the individual, and the schizophrenic, or the healthy control, is now trying to describe to the parents which one they saw, how to find the correct one in there control healthy individuals sitting there trying to explain which raw shock block they saw, like no accuracy whatsoever, the schizophrenic starts saying, it looks like a butterfly with a Van Dyke beard and ears on fire, and the parents pull out the right one instantly. It works in the opposite direction as well, where the parents are the ones trying to describe the raw shock test. It only works within families. The parents of a schizophrenic are no better than at chance when doing it with someone else's child of a schizophrenic. There seems to be this going on. Logical interpretation. This has nothing to do with the emergence of schizophrenia. This is an obvious compensation. You have a child, you have a sibling who is this thought disordered, and there's going to be a whole lot more adventurous communication in the family to try to compensate for it. 